welcome students welcome back i hope you all are doing great so we are going to do a python programming language today so when you encounter the word python it reminds us of the frightening reptile however the programming language has been called python because just as the reptile has a flexi flexible body the language is also very easy simple and highly flexible it is an open source object oriented high level programming language which is developed by kudo van rossum in 1991 at the national research institute for mathematics and computer science in netherlands it is presently owned by python software foundation psf python is based on the abc language and abc language was a teaching language that was used or created to replace the programming language called basic okay the so basic was first developed then abc was developed just as a teaching language to replace basic and then python was developed so python is actually developed on abc as well as basic python is a general purpose programming language and it can be used effectively to build any kind of program that does not require direct access to the computer hardware python is based on the abc language and it was inspired by the famous bbc comedy show there was a comedy show going on when uh, gobadu when kudo van rossum uh, found this language and the name of that show was monty pan monty python's flying circus so from there he just picked up the word python and he said i'll call my language python <laughs> there are many features of this language it is an interactive interpreted language with simple syntax it has become increasingly popular because of the salient features which you can see on the screen python is interpreted interactive directly executed and pre compiled code it means that it is processed at run time by the interpreter and we do not need to combine the program before executing the program it is a loosely typed object oriented programming language with few keywords few keywords you will learn the advantage of few keywords when you don't have to sit and memorize hundreds and thousands of keywords just to get your work done and most of these keywords are simple english like english language and they are very easy to learn you all are going to love this language it's very easy just put in little more effort like you would put in effort to learn any new language like spanish french german you will have to put in efforts to learn the language but trust me once you get the hang of it you all are going to glide through python python is as easy as it gets it is a free open source and portable language which has a large repository of library large repository of library means there are already some uh, ready made modules available for us to reuse and make and build over them and there is a large library of such modules python also takes less time to develop as python programs are typically 3 to 5 times shorter than their equivalent java program this is because of its built in high level data type and its dynamic typing dynamic typing is a very beautiful feature you will learn about when we learn uh, when we start learning Practice. 
but what this means to say is if you all have done java in the past if you all have not done no problem just understand that java is another programming language so python programs are 3 to 5 times shorter than java program so for example if java program takes 15 lines if there's a 15 line program in java to execute some task or some work in python it will be a matter of three to five lines and this is all because of the high level data types and dynamic types python is extensible extendable and highly efficient as there is no wastage of time in declaring the types of variables or argument in other languages like c java etc uh, we had to sit and uh, we have to uh, declare the variable and arguments and its data type but in python we do none of this and so it is extensible extendable and it is highly efficient it also supports a gui gui is a graphical user interface and garbage collection that means there is better memory management it is easily compatible with other languages like C, C++, or Java. Python is used for both scientific as well as non-scientific programming. So, Python is easy. It is expressive. It is free and open source. It is a high level language. It is portable. It is object oriented. It is extensible. It's amendable. It's interpreted. There's a large standard library. It supports graphical user interface and it is dynamically typed. These are just honestly just a few features of python python is much more than this and it's very easy apart from these features python has many advantages python is platform independent it can run across different platforms like windows linux Unix, Macintosh, and many other operating systems. Python programs use very clear, simple, concise, and English instructions that are very easy to read and understand even by a non programmer. So, people with no substantial programming background can also understand a program written in Python. With other languages like C++ and Java, you have to know the language so that you can understand the program written in that language. But with Python, the advantage is that most, almost all keywords are borrowed from English. And hence, they make reading very easy. You can read a program. Of course, it will not be grammatically correct. It's not going to be a sentence out of a book. No. But if you put logic into the program that you're reading, you will understand Python more easily than you will understand any other programming language. And you do not need to be from a programming background to understand a Python program, which is the biggest advantage, I think, for a student. Because as a student, you, when you don't understand the code, when you don't read a code and understand it, that's where the biggest problem occurs. But in Python, you just look at it, if you can't look at it in a programming way, look at it with English, uh, information that we have we always 
this is all basic english we're not even looking at higher vocabulary we're talking of things like for at each you know this is very simple words and when you will apply this in python you will be able to write better flow python is object oriented programming language it means that it is an interactive interpreted and object oriented language it gives us a higher productivity since python is a simple language with small codes and extensive library it offers higher productivity to programmers than languages like c++ and java so what happens is you finally will write less you will write less code but you will get more work done because of the simple and shorter codes less time is required to learn and understand python programming language which is another advantage for you as a student so it won't it only be easy for you to read a program you will also be writing shorter codes to execute all the work that you need to be done and the learning time for this program is also very less python also supports gui applications that can be created and ported to many systems libraries and window systems such as microsoft foundation class library macintosh and x windows so it allows us to do gui programming something that i am not going to recommend or let you do at least in the first term because gui programming makes your life and my life very very easy but if we start with gui programming you will not learn to rectify your mistake and look into the smaller problems of coding i want you all to experience a little struggle at the beginning and then i will make your life easy by switching you all to a gui a gui system okay another advantage is ample availability of libraries python provides large standard libraries to solve all the tasks and finally syntax highlighting python will allow you to distinguish between input output and error messages by different color codes so looking at the when you all are typing and the font color of the text will change you will understand that you are writing an input code or an output code or if there is an error So that is called syntax highlight apart from the several advantages of python which makes it one of the most most popular languages most popular programming languages python also has a few limitations python is slower than c and c++ Although Python is a high level language C or C++ is more closer to hardware than Python is so the speed is not competitive with C or C++ Python is not a very good language for mobile development in the mobile development python is seen as a weak language for mobile computing and this is the reason why very few mobile applications are built in it python is also not a very good choice for memory intensive tasks due to the flexibility of data type python's memory consumption is also very hi python also has limitations with database access 
when you compare it to other technologies like JDBC and ODBC, that is Java Database Connectivity and Open Database Connectivity. Python's database access layer is a little bit underdeveloped and also primitive. It cannot be applied to enterprises that need smooth interaction of complex legacy data. Python programmers have often complained of issues with the design of the language because the language is dynamically typed. It requires more testing and have errors that only show up on runtime. So Python, Python gives more runtime errors than other programming languages. With this, I end today's class. Next class, we are going to learn how to install Python on our computers. And we will probably do one small short program just to get started. So this is when it's getting a little more real with you all now. Up till now, it was more theoretical and you all were just making notes. Now, you all are going to practically do things with me, okay? So it, I would recommend that next class, you all have a stronger internet connection with you all so that you all can simultaneously and preferably take the class on a laptop so that you all can simultaneously do what I am telling you all to. Okay. So till then, uh, yeah, another thing was you all had to write down some uh, nice information that you all have found about Python in this video's comment. In the next video's comment, I want you all to find out few applications that we use daily that is made or built using Python. The names of those applications would be the comments of the next class. Okay, so till then, stay home, stay safe, take care and keep learning.